Dear professional, welcome to learnsplace.com. Today I discuss some very tricky question. Our first question, what are the qualifications of the incident commander when responding to a crisis? Option A, member of management. Option B, first responder. Option C, trained crisis manager. And option D, first person on scene. The correct answer is D because the first person on the scene is the incident commander regardless of rank or position. The incident commander may be relieved by a person with more experience or less experience according to the situation. The incident commander will change throughout the crisis. Question number two, which of the following would be a concern that the auditor should explain in the audit report along with their findings. Option A, detailed list of the audit objective. Option B, the need by the current auditor to communicate with the prior auditor. Option C, undue restriction placed by the management on evidence, user or audit procedure. And option D, communicating result directly to the chairperson of the audit committee. The correct answer is C. Because undue restriction on scope would be a major concern as would a lack of time or the inability to obtain sufficient reliable evidence. Question number three. Method of backup should be used on computer files prior to starting a forensic investigation. Option A. BT stream. Option B. Logical. Option C. Differential. And option D. Full. So the correct answer is A. PT stream imaging is the only backup method that record the deleted files along with the content of the swap space and slack space. BT stream backup is also referred to as physical imaging. All of the other choice would miss these important files that are necessary as evidence. Dear professional, our fourth question. What is the primary objective in the third phase of incident response? Option A, containment. Option B, lesson learned. Option C, eradication. And option D, analysis. So the correct answer is A. The phases in incident handling are number one, preparation. Number two, detection and analysis. Number three, containment, eradication and recovery. And number four, post-incident activity, including lesson learned. Question number five. What is the principal issue surrounding the use of CAT software? Option A, the capability of software vendor. Option B, documentary evidence is more effective. Option C, inability of automated tools to consider the human characteristics of the environment. And option D, possible cost, complexity, and security of output. So the correct answer is D because computer-assisted audit tools are able to perform detailed technical tasks faster than humans and produce more accurate data during particular functions such as system scanning. Cost, training, and security of output are major consideration. Our last question, question number six, which is not a purpose of risk analysis. Option A supports risk based audit decision. Option B assists the auditor in determining audit objective. Option C ensure absolute safety during the audit. Assist the auditor in identifying risks and threat. So the correct answer is C because the risk analysis does not ensure absolute safety. The purpose of using a risk-based audit strategy is to ensure that the audit adds value with meaningful information. Thank you for watching this video.